Okay, yes, I'll get this out of the way first. This is Scarlet Witch and Hawkeye in a movie together, but they are definitely not the characters that you know from their other movies. Wind River. So Wind River is the latest murder mystery crime drama that stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. And in this movie when Jeremy Renner stumbles across the body of a young teenage girl, they call in an FBI agent played by Elizabeth Olsen who must decide whether this is a homicide or if it was just death by natural causes or basically freezing death in this case. Although when she believes that it is homicide, she enlists the help of Jeremy Renner's character to figure out what has happened to her. And now the pair of them have teamed up to solve this murder together in a very tense, very gripping, very edge of your seat film. And that's not another exaggeration guys, this movie is incredibly gripping. It is written by the same guy who wrote Hello High Water and Sicario, and I believe it's his first directorial attempt. I'm not too sure on that, so don't quote me on that or anything, but he definitely directs this movie and he does such a great job of directing this film. The shots are absolutely beautiful. As is for cinematography, there's use of steady shots as well as some shaky cam in the more intense moments to pull you in more. This is a stunningly directed movie with incredible performances all around. Jeremy Renner in this movie, this may be the best performance I've ever seen from him. Now, I like Jeremy Renner as an actor. I believe he's a great actor. I don't just see him as Hawkeye, as a lot of people do. I do believe this actor has a range from other movies that I've seen him in. But without a doubt, this movie, like I said, is probably the best movie I have ever seen him in. He is so grounded, so gritty, so emotional in this movie. And there's a lot of pain hiding behind his eyes as well, which they do go into detail about later in the film, which gives his character a lot more depth, making his overall character out by the end of the film all the more meaningful. Elizabeth Olsen also gives a fantastic performance in this movie and shouldn't be outshined by Jeremy Renner. They both share the screen together. The chemistry together on screen is great. The back and forth that they have can be funny, witty, heartbreaking. The rest of the cast all do a fantastic job in this film as well. No one really gives a bad performance in this movie that I could see. The actual storyline for this film is so incredibly gripping, you can't turn your head away. Taylor Sheridan has proven that he can craft gritty, emotional, intense scripts before with Sicario and Hell or High Water. But in this movie, in my opinion, I believe he may have outdone himself because this movie is definitely one of the best of the year. Not only is it intense in particular moments and funny, but it's also very heartbreaking, it's very emotional. And the way that they use the very little score that is used in this film works so much to its advantage that it helps pull on your heartstrings more in particular scenes, whilst also being utilised very well to build the tension to have you on the edge of your seat gripping your armrests. In fact, there is a particular scene in this movie where I was gripping the armrest so hard that my hand started to cramp up and hurt, because that's how well directed and well acted the scene was. It was incredibly tense, and I literally had no idea what was going to happen next. I was on the edge of my seat pretty much throughout that entire scene. Honestly guys, I'm struggling to think of a flaw that I have with this movie because I was so invested in what I was seeing unfold on screen that I couldn't take my eyes away. If you guys do get the chance to see it, I highly recommend that you do because this is absolutely, definitely one of the best movies of the year. It's gripping, it's intense, it's funny, it's heartbreaking, it's emotionally powerful. This movie will also impact some people more than it will others, but again guys, this movie is fantastic. I loved every single minute of this movie. If you do get the chance to see it, I highly recommend that you do because I could not look away throughout this entire runtime. And so for all of that, I have to give Wind River five stars. So, Wind River, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks to those for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome, and I will see you all in the next video.